Ever had one of those days where just things went actually really well? That's what today felt like. Things just went off. Everyone was on fire in class. Kids were doing their work. Kids were on task. I mean, I guess the day, the day can't help, can it? I mean, this is, this is a, this adds to it, doesn't it? So, I don't know, just absolute stunner of a day and couldn't have asked for like a better finish. So we we're getting ready for athletics, doing some um, ball throw with the kids, getting them ready and practicing their throwing techniques and mechanics for the javelin and um, doing some sprinting practice. So um, especially coming from kind of that uh, training background and um, doing actual sprint training and uh, playing baseball in my youth and gridiron, so that throwing strength. Um, it's not about going out there and just, here's stuff, throw it. It's about developing those skills. So in this short time, we're gonna build them up in their strength in their arm and their release points, so the technique, and we're also gonna build up their um, explosiveness and that quick fire start. So these kids can be as ready as they possibly can for when they try out for athletics in a couple weeks. So overall, just a great day. I honestly just, so to me it was one of those I blinked and I was, wow, it just, it's the end of the day. So um, did a new game with the kids it's called Tunnel of Love. So I'll do a little explanation on the uh, whiteboard. And if it's something that you want to take with you or use, man, by all means, if you have any questions, just let me know. I figured out why today was a good day at school. We had a lamb turn up in our classroom. Listen to the cuteness of the little ba. Awesome. All right, tunnel of love. If I'm out of breath during parts of this, I'm just doing some of this between my sets. Um, but here's the object of the game, okay? You split your class into two, you have two teams, right? And you're using cones or lines or sometimes even skipping ropes, right? You can make it as long or as short as you would like depending on how many kids there are. But you kind of make this rectangle. Now. Depends on the year level of your kids, right? The greater the distance between these two sides, right? The red are your throwers. They're on the same team. Blue are your runners. They're on a different team, right? This is the safe line at the one side of the triangle or rectangle. This is a safe line. Object of the game these guys to stay alive as long as possible doing shuttle runs back and forth and back and forth They're only really allowed to be on this side for you know that five to ten seconds just enough to catch their breath If they're kind of staying for too long give them a warning if they stay for even longer. They're out All right the last boy or girl standing Keeps going until they get out time stops All right the throwers I give the throwers tennis balls. We're doing year five and six at the moment. I've also done this with seven and eight. Year seven and eight, All right? Throwers, you give each side a whole heap of tennis balls. Their objective is to get these runners out by hitting them in the knee or below. If this guy throws a ball and hits this person running, they squat. So I always tell my kids to turtle. Hang on for dear life, watch balls. Balls are gonna be coming, some kids are gonna get hit. Um, the throwers, I always tell, you're not throwing 100%, right? It's about accuracy. So it's about trying to hit a moving object, it's accuracy. It's not trying to hit something as hard as you can. So that usually eliminates it. Um, also personally, I say, if I catch anyone where a ball is thrown above chest height, the person on the throwing team will sit out the remainder of that round. That just makes it nice and safe. So throwers are throwing balls back and forth. Runners are running back and forth. Once the last runner gets hit, right, you stop the stopwatch. So 
Now we take the throwers two minutes and 14 seconds to get all of these guys out. Then I switch. So the throwers become the runners, runners become the throwers, and they do the same thing. Say the thrower team switch, the runners come down, the runners. So once they switch, the runners become the throwers, throwers become the runners. And let's say the runners got the throwers out in 204. Well, this team wins because they were alive the longest. Okay. So the fun thing about this is you can upskill it as much as you want. You can make these distances closer or further apart. You can tell them to use underhand. You can tell them to use underhand throws overhand throws, um, said I use tennis balls, but you can use soft balls, big balls, small balls, um, and it really does help up skill. So again, you're trying to take the speed out of it with the skill of accuracy, and that's why we're trying to say, teaching them the release point so that the ball's going downwards, not upwards, downwards. Um, so this is the first time I got my kids to play it in the year sixes, and only a couple of hits upper body, no tears, everyone was fine, and I've already been asked if they want to play it again. So, tunnel of love. Hope you enjoy.